here's another homework problem. This one is S7-15, which has to do with the interest. This is also part of chapter four. Um, in this case, Pacific Bank lent some money to Robert Sim Simmons. Uh, it was $125,000 for 30 days on a 6% note. Now remember when you get this percentage here, again, yours may be slightly different, but the theory is the same. This is an annual interest rate. Well, did they borrow the money for an entire year? No, it was only 30 days, okay? So we wanna record the transaction for Pacific Bank. So when we lent the money to Robert Simmons on the 12th, then we are actually going to create a notes receivable on our behalf for $125,000, there's another zero, and we're gonna go ahead and give Robert the $125,000. The next thing it asks us to do is to record the entry of uh, the collection of the principal and the interest at maturity. And it says use a 360 day year, so that's fine. So here I'm going to get the cash back. So I'm gonna leave that there for just a minute. I'm also going to back out the uh, notes receivable and I'm going to take in some interest revenue. So those are my basic accounts that I'm dealing with here. Now, Robert borrowed 125,000 for us, so that's the easy part. I'm gonna go ahead and take that back out of his account. Now, the interest revenue is a little bit trickier. So I thought I'd bring an Excel spreadsheet into the works here. So here's my $125,000, and what is my interest rate? It's 6% or 0.06, so to get the amount that I'm going to um, charge him for just one month because remember this was an annual interest rate is I'm going to take the amount that he borrowed from me multiply that times the interest rate then I'm going to multiply that times 30 days and the divide that by 360 and that gives me six hundred and twenty five dollars so again I'm going to take the amount that he borrowed from me at the six percent interest rate and then I'm gonna take that for one month divided by three, you know, well, excuse me, 30 days divided by 360. And here they told us that we could use a 360 day just because it makes the dollar amount come out easier. So that is how much interest we're gonna charge this guy. And so the amount that I'm gonna take in is the amount that he's gonna repay me for the original note plus the $625, otherwise known as 125,600 and $25. So the most important part of this one is obviously how I calculated the interest revenue.